So the first thing is Pythagorean theorem, aka the Savani sling formula. So this formula, it is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So that is the formula, and this works for a right triangle. So the first example of this is basically we're going to find a missing side. So I'm going to give you guys three examples. This is example number one. So side C is always the longest side, which is the hypotenuse or the diagonal side. So we know two sides, and now we need to find the other side. So basically, you need to plug in your numbers. So we have 5 squared plus 12 squared is equal to C squared. Be good so far. Hopefully everybody understands. You just got to plug in those values. Because I'm, I'm about to erase a few things before we move on. So anyway, let's go ahead and move on. So as you guys remembered... We are looking to find what is C. What is the longest side in the triangle? So we need to add up. We need to square all of these and figure out what C squared is. So if you guys already ha haven't figured it out yet, C squared is 169. Now... C is the square root of 169. If a lot a lot of you guys probably already know this, but if you have a situation where you have a perfect square, or you might not know perfect squares, you could just use your calculator and be like, hey, that's what's up. That's a whole number. But but anyway, C in this case is 13. And therefore, the longest side of the triangle is 13. Now, let's try a harder example. So this time, we know that the longest side of the triangle, it's 8. And one of the sides is 6. Now, we need to find what is this side. So in this case, we already know that c squared is, or c is 8, so we have 8 squared. And a and b, it doesn't matter which side we call a or which side we call b, but usually the shorter side, we're going to call it a. So we're going to have x squared plus 6 squared is equal to 8 squared. Now, what we want to do is for the numbers, we want to get these all squared up. Now, we need to isolate, in this case, we could just call x a. We need to isolate a squared. So, we need to subtract 36 from both sides to make that happen. So, my screen's not letting me do that, but you get the idea that, or let's come back here, a squared plus 36 is equal to 64. Now, we're going to subtract 36 And we are going to get that a squared is 28. So in this case, a is the square root of 28. Now, 
let's try another example. Another example, let's just say that we know that this side is 1. And then this side here is, let's just say, it is 2. So, we don't know what C is. So, we're going to leave it as C squared. This is going to be 1 squared plus 2 squared equals C squared. Now, we got to focus on what's on the left side. We have 1 plus 4 is equal to C squared. So c squared equals 5. Now, when we take square root, we have c is equal to the square root of 5. And that is Pythagorean Theorem.